Good evening and welcome to night prayer. So we gather at the end of this day with the one who knows us and who understands. Let's take a moment settling with the one who is here already. Psalm 46 verse 10. Be still and know that I am God. The Lord Almighty grant us a quiet night and a perfect end. Our help is in the name of the Lord, who made heaven and earth. So we pause and reflect on this day, bringing the different elements of it to the one who understands. Save us, O Lord, while waking, and guard us while sleeping, that awake we may watch with Christ, and asleep may rest in peace. Verse from Psalm 18, verse 28. You, Lord, keep my lamp burning. My God turns my darkness into light. You, Lord, keep my lamp burning. My God turns my darkness into light. Sometimes we think that what we've got left is very little. And yet we're reminded that a smouldering wick he will not snuff out. God knows those places where our faith is weak, where life feels very empty and as though we're only clinging on with our fingertips. Yet God is there to come and to breathe life to husband, to guard those scraps of life where we're feeling at the end of ourselves. He is the one who holds us and who helps us. And he's the one who comes and reminds us that he is there as light in the darkest times. We can look to him and know that he carries us, know that he is so close to us sometimes so close that we don't see him because our faces are buried right up against him. My God, our God, is the one who brings light into the darkness, who breathes hope when it seems that there is nothing to hope for or in. He is the one who comes and breathes life. Let's pray. Thank you, loving God, that you do bring light into the darkness. Thank you that the darkness that we experience now is not as dark as it would have been without you. And thank you that you lead us in your ways of light to more light. Thank you, loving God. Amen. Merciful God, we entrust to your unfailing and tender care this night, all who are ill or in pain, knowing that whenever danger threatens, your everlasting arms are there to hold us safe. Comfort and heal each one and restore them to health and strength through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. And we pray as Jesus taught us. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. In peace we will lie down and sleep. For you alone, Lord, make us dwell in safety. And now may the God of light lighten your darkness, light your path, 
and assure you of his presence this night and always. Amen. Bless you and sleep well.